point out. Boom. Shooter ready. Go ahead. Like many of us, Navy veteran Justin Avery Palms 2020 wasn't going as planned. I was feeling pretty good at the beginning of March. I just got a new job. As businesses shuttered across the nation, he was furloughed from his job. He started training to become an armed guard while he looked for work. Good, 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 good. Tell me about that second week of March, the country shuts down, the world shuts down. What's going through your head? What happens? It kind of happened really quickly, like way, way quicker than I thought, just to go from having everything in my life planned and everything going well to now I don't have a job. I don't know where my next source of income is coming from. I don't really have any stability anymore. Looking for a way to get by, Justin turned to an emerging social media platform, OnlyFans. Well, I guess I'm gonna start taking off my clothes now. OnlyFans is a subscription-based platform where people pay a monthly fee. In exchange for that fee, users get access to the content on a creator's main feed. You can message them, make yourself known through tips, even request custom content specifically for you. The site keeps 20% and the creator takes home the rest. For those who have never heard of it, what is OnlyFans? OnlyFans in its simplest sense is kind of like Instagram, but for new. Honestly, you can use the platform for and showing you off your art, dancing, creativity, but most people use it for this, which is what I do. What type of content do you post? If I'm pulling up onto your page, what can I expect to see? I mean, I post pretty explicit content because I like to think like a fan. What would I expect if I were to purchase someone's subscription fee? And what would I be disappointed by? Or what would I be happy about? And I try to maintain that. He says he's pulling in about $4,000 every month. When was that moment that you realized that, you know, your OnlyFans page could actually be a lucrative source of income? When I started in like the first month, I was like, oh, you know, if I don't make this certain amount, then I'm, I'm going to just stop the platform. I'm going to just quit. And that first month was probably like the best thing ever. And I was just like, wow, I have nothing to worry about now whatsoever. Even if my income stopped right now, I would be way better off than waiting for unemployment to come through or waiting for a stimulus ch check to come through, you know? Who knows when that's going to be, but this OnlyFans income is very real and it's very quick and it's right now. That hustle and OnlyFans' meteoric rise into the mainstream is now explored in a new Hulu documentary, OnlyFans, Selling Sexy, from ABC News Originals. OnlyFans is massively a part of the pop culture zeitgeist right now. Cardi B's on the platform. You have Chris Brown. Now, why are you tipping this rich man? I think I'm gonna start an OnlyFans. Please do it, Lonnie Love. Michael B. Jordan's mustache. His name is Murphy. You got an OnlyFans coming is soon. That a, is that an OnlyFans account? Oh, so why not? Bella Thorne is probably the most infamous celebrity to join OnlyFans. Bella, actually getting a little angry talking on about it. Big name stars changed it so dramatically. My income went like this, 2018, 19, 2020. <laughs> the site, which started in 2016, has seen a rapid rise, with 500,000 new users now joining daily. It has over 100 million users and over 1 million creators. OnlyFans has really boomed during the pandemic. I think people are uh, staying at home more and they're bored and they're needing more entertainment. People are also needing additional sources of income. And so both of those forces have converged kind of on OnlyFans. New York Times reporter Jillian Friedman recently chronicled the growing number of women joining OnlyFans during the COVID crisis. Something I started noticing as I was reporting that a lot of women I saw posting on Twitter, men as well, saying they were opening OnlyFans accounts because they had lost jobs during the pandemic um, and that they were using that as a way to support uh, their families, as a way to pay rent, as a way to supplement their unemployment income that they were getting. It occurred to me that a lot of the people who were saying they were doing this had not been on OnlyFans before. One of those who Freeman talked to, 24-year-old Savannah Benavides from New Mexico. I was running out of money. I remember I had $300 left and my car payment was is $300. I had heard of OnlyFans and I had thought about it for a while, but I just couldn't build up the courage to do it. I'm like, I 
need to put food in my son's mouth. I need to do something. The single mom to two-year-old Valen says she lost her job last summer and after struggling to find other work, turned to OnlyFans. Talk to me about that first time you posted. What was it? What was going through your head? Were you nervous? It was actually a picture that I had posted on Instagram. I had made like $700 in 20 minutes. And I was like, oh my God, this is my check that I've made in two weeks. The feeling of relief to know that I was able to feed my son off of just taking a picture felt really good. <laughs> what kind of content do you post? Most of the content I post on my OnlyFans is things that I would post on my regular page on Instagram and some not. It's not completely nude. I do like to wear like lingerie or kind of more like, like teasing. Savannah says the money and the ability to work from home has been a lifeline. I got my own apartment. I had my own apartment before, but the one that I have now is way nicer than the one I had. Um, I'm able to give my son his own room. I am I pay my bills months in advance. Next door in Texas, Winter Mosley says OnlyFans has afforded her the financial freedom she's always dreamed of. I started OnlyFans in December of 2019 because I had gone viral a few times on Twitter and people were just like in love with my body and you know, I was twerking. And then Christmas time came around and I wasn't able to get my family anything. So I was like, okay, let me start this OnlyFans. And that first night I made about like $1,300 and I'm like, this is insane. Within two months of joining the site, Winter quit her job as a corporate travel agent just weeks before much of the country shut down. At the time, I was kind of nervous because I'm like, okay, everything's shut down, people are losing their jobs, um, I probably should never quit. But ironically, I actually made more money that month during the lockdown. Like, that was my highest paying month. Mosley is featured in Hulu's OnlyFans, selling sexy. Cameras following her rise on the platform as she navigates just how far to push her content. It's like I'm nervous, but I'm not nervous at the same time, if that makes sense. Like... My mom and I are very open with each other. My parents, they're not judgmental people. So anything that I do that's new, I talk to my mom about it. Like, I've never did a threesome before, so I just kind of wanted to get her opinion on it. Am I a little curious? Yes, I am. And I know I'm going to make money from it, so, you know? uh, I mean, and then I like your business mind. Right, right, right. That's what I appreciate. Talk to me a little bit about your relationship with your mom and, you know, how that how she's kind of supported you through this. My mom has been very cool. I mean, her and I have been close my whole life. I've always been able to talk to her. And I'm pretty sure once they watch this, they will be questioning my mother's mothering skills and probably saying she's a bad parent. But the thing is, my parents did what they needed to do to raise me. They instilled me with like morals and values. But I'm an adult and I make my own decisions. And she knows that. And both of my parents just want me to be happy, regardless of what I'm doing. Now, after just a little more than a year, she said she's made $170,000. I'm currently top 0.84%. It's just been really, a really crazy journey, and I'm kind of excited because like, I never thought I would make this amount of money in my life. Like, It's crazy. When you go on OnlyFans, you really have to, to go out then and promote yourself. And it's very difficult to do that when you've got already a, a saturated landscape of people who have those those large, large followings they're, they're bringing to OnlyFans. And I think that's something that gets lost when people are just seeing the big headlines about how much money there is to be made on the platform. The work is not only hard, it can come with real world consequences. A lot of the creators that we have talked to, there seems to be a lot of negativity. Do you experience that ever? There was a lot of like stigma in starting an OnlyFans and you know, normal societal pressures when it comes to like anything sexual. When it comes down to it, am I comfortable enough with myself and my sexuality and the person that I am to do it? And then additionally, is there a need? Then I think anyone in the same position would, given the same situation, would, would probably choose very similar. <laughs> People post pictures online all the time for free. So the only difference is I'm getting paid for it. What are some of the negative comments that you have heard while being on the site? This is my favorite one. What are you going to do when your son finds out? Or what, what kind of mom are you to post yourself like this? 
For Savannah, the negativity rolls off. If anything, it's a reminder of the very reason she does it at all. I really like being a mom. I really do. That's my favorite thing in the world. And this gives me the chance to do that. OnlyFans Selling Sexy is now streaming on Hulu. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.